What kind of a world are we creating for our children? A world ravaged by war. Where five million children die each year through malnutrition. Where millions of people are unemployed and millions more are homeless. A world that cares little for the weak, the poor, and the old. Where our very existence is threatened by nuclear arms and nuclear power. And where the planet's resources, its trees, rivers, animal life, the air we breathe, are being destroyed forever. Is this the picture you want for your children? Because now, there is an alternative. The Green Party was formed as a direct political response to many of today's problems, and we're part of a growing worldwide movement that's looking for more positive politics. There are MPs elected in four West European countries, in Germany, in Finland, in Austria and in Belgium. And there are local councillors elected throughout Western Europe, including our own country. And we're not just a bunch of idealists looking towards the future. We actually have very well thought out policies for today's problems. The Green Party is working for peace, not preparing for war. This is the American missile base at Greenham Common. These silos house the missiles that would make Britain a target. The Green Party would dismantle all nuclear weapons and spend those millions on protecting our people from poverty and unemployment. We want a non-aligned, independent policy based on defending ourselves, not threatening others or threatening the Earth. In the United Kingdom today, there's lots of useful work to be done. In fact, you could say that caring for the Earth is the greatest job creation scheme on Earth. But three and a half million people are unemployed, and lots more are caught in the poverty trap, which means that if they get a low-paid job, their benefits stopped, and they're even worse off. The Green Party has a simple solution to this, to give everyone enough to live. We would give everyone a weekly payment which would be theirs as of right on top of what they've earned, which allows them to do more part-time jobs, more voluntary work, more job sharing, and breaks free of the poverty trap. If we saw a rich kid spending the family fortunes in five years of riotous living and making himself sick in the process, we'd say he was an idiot. But that's exactly what our energy policies boil down to. We are burning coal, oil and gas like there was no tomorrow. The government's answer to this is to invest in nuclear power, but we all know how dangerous that is. Our answer to it is a massive investment into energy conservation and into extracting energy from the sun, from the wind and from the sea, thereby creating thousands of jobs. More and more people nowadays are getting worried about the threat to the environment. Acid rain, the destruction of the rainforests, toxic chemical spillages, the Chernobyl nuclear disaster, the list's endless and it's getting worse all the time. What's happening is we're paying the penalty for an economic system which just doesn't care about the poisoning of the atmosphere, the depletion of scarce resources and the growing gap between the rich and the poor. What the Green Party is saying is we must move our economy in the direction of a sustainable system that creates long-term employment without destroying our precious environment. And in doing that, we'll be ensuring the survival of the planet. This is the first general election in which people will have the opportunity to vote Green. And we're fielding over 130 candidates throughout the UK. Only the Green Party is offering positive politics in this election and really looking towards a safe and peaceful future. So I would urge anyone considering how they would vote to vote positively and to vote for the Green Party. In the world of politics, a new party is rising. The Green Party. Politics for life. That was a party election broadcast by the Green Party.